Okay, so we were looking before we arrived at this equation here. dQ by dQ, sorry, dQ by Q gives us uh, delta T over CR. And we expected to find this graph, which when we looked at the real data, we did. We get a constant time for any particular drop in current. Um, now, if we rearrange this, we can get uh, delta Q over delta T equals Q minus Q over CR. Now, the solution to this, if you integrate both sides and rearrange it, you're going to end up with a graph an equation that looks like this. Q equals Q naught e to the minus t over rc and this is the equation that relates the charge at any time to the initial charge and the time okay so the charge q at any value on this graph any value of q is given by q naught up here times by e to the minus t over rc where r is resistance and c is the capacitance and this value rc is very important because this is the time constant we call this the time constant the circuit. Now the video that goes with this, the video that I found on YouTube, the guy goes into it in real detail, it's, it's about 20 minutes, so it's a bit of a big one. So if you're if you're not in a hurry, if you're just if you're just revising, all you need to know is this. If you're learning it first time, you should watch this video, it's very enlightening. But I'm not going to go into it now because it's just gonna to take too long. Anyway, this is um this is the equation for the charge on the capacitor against time. Of course, we could substitute Q for V or I, okay? The initial current does the same thing, the V does the same thing, it doesn't matter, this is general form. X equals X naught E to the minus T over RC. And this is for discharge only. This is the form, this is the equation for discharge, okay? RC is the time constant, and if you put in your calculator, when um, to the time is equal to the, t uh, to the time constant, okay? E to the minus one is 0.37, okay? So basically it's also known as the time, and you can just bang in this, if you put E to the minus one, it comes to 0.37. So it's the time for the initial, okay? Whatever, it's initial value, and I'm gonna say value, and it could be charge, it could be current, it could be potential difference, it doesn't matter, but time for the initial whatever to fall Okay, to naught or thirty-seven percent of the original of original. Okie dokie. So this is our equation. Time constant is R C and it's really key, it's given by 0.37 of the original. Okay, that's a key number. Righty ho, that's this one. What we should see now is if we take natural logs of this, we should get a straight line. 